Hello there, this is Clara, and welcome to the African Feminist. Today's topic, as you can see, it's about Miss Congestina Cheng, the Africa's boxing champion for women. Now, the reason why I bring this topic in this channel, it's about home improvement is because this is one of those projects that I feel professionally this is what I could get involved in and it is something that I'm trying to pursue with relevant people around this uh, topic. A couple of months ago some photos surfaced online although this is not the first time but uh, some photos surfaced online of Congestina is in, in a not very good state and what happened is of course the public was outraged and they were they were asking for solutions on how to handle her case now congestina hasn't practiced in a long time and she's succumbed to effects of drug abuse and she's not at her best to be honest so there's so many solutions that are going around and um, apparently in the next week or so she's going to be coming out of rehab so she was taken to rehabilitation center immediately after the photo surfaced online. This is not the first time again that this is happening, rehabilitation. So uh, for me, I'm coming in because I understand very well that there are underlying issues in this topic. I understand the underlying issues uh, behind, well, for drug abuse to happen, there are so many underlying issues. And without really going into the details of what... I mean by that I just want to try and um, cover around what I would do, what I will be doing actually um, around this for her and every other legend in the country, uh, Kenya and hopefully across Africa. Now uh, from the photos uh, clearly we can see from Kunjustina's home that her home is really, um, I don't know if basic is the word, but her home is not the best setup for what I can call a legend. And that is one thing that I want to be taking care of with that. So this, this topic today is a step-by-step -step guide on how I would go about upgrading or changing the situation so that we don't have to... Um, we don't have to be taking the solutions of going to rehab as you know as the first case whenever this happens to one of our legends so I must say that as Congestina as she is she's an inspiration to many she really um, she has really opened up a mi minds of a lot of women and girls to the possibilities of what they can do with their lives and you know for whatever case really she is a really wonderful person she's um, outgoing she's very um, jovial when you see her in interviews and wherever you can see that her character is full that notwithstanding I know very well that she definitely receives a lot of visitors at home for that reason and so I'm going to take this back to the home now and I'm going to say that the way her home looks may not, may, may not really encourage any better results because if you're going to have to take photos next to that house, next to her, they will not look good in any international forum. So the first thing I would do to our house is do very... Um, thorough landscaping um, really highlight a few things around the home just um, just guide guide the home a little bit guide the homestead on, on a bit of can I say utility areas and, and things like that just to to guide people to guide her home to legendary status um, after landscaping I think it's very important that um, 
we are able to set up something like a restaurant in her area. Uh, definitely this is, this is for the people that are coming from the area to, be, to have a place to eat, definitely. But also because a lot of people will visit her home and you don't want a situation where there is um, pressure on her home to really provide such a service as hosting. All right, because she is not um, she's not on that level anymore. It's not about her mother or her relatives hosting some random people that drop by to visit a legend. It's about beyond seeing what this legend did for the community and what she's done with her life um, after her reign. And a restaurant would really be a good idea. And um, also I must say that there's not much of any tourist attractions in Nyanza region and this will be one of those things that will encourage such kind of movement around Nyanza region. So a restaurant is definitely great and um, another thing is uh, from Wikipedia I found out that she is interested in art, a, a bit of painting and for me this is something that can be translated to having a gallery and um, some art classes, whether it's taught by her or by someone else, but art classes to just encourage people around that. And definitely an, a gallery is going to also open uh, doors for more and even different visitors to come to our home and visit the area. And this will also uplift uh, the living standards of those people around, let's say with um, encouraging people to do painting and let's say if the restaurant was to also have a few booths that are rented out to the locals so that they can also showcase their their culinary skills and talents. Now um, that is probably uh, pretty much what I would do with Congestina's home and I want to encourage um, my colleagues all across Kenya and across Africa to implement the same uh, um, for for the same le for for such situations really because for any legend really there is a very heavy name on their back and oftentimes I feel they are not really sure what to do with this weight. And for me, a name attracts numbers, a name attracts eyeballs, and we cannot just um, we cannot just focus on waiting for endorsements and all that stuff because they don't always always fall through that way. So for me, this is the the best way to go. How I would handle it professionally as myself, as the, uh, with my knowledge and skills. This is how I'd handle the situation of Congestina. Now, I followed up uh, with a few people about uh, her, about her situation and immediately when she gets out of rehab, I think this is what, uh, the, this is a project that I'm going to be taking up. I'm also uh, going to try and um, contact the National Heroes Council to implement the same to implement the same for the rest of um, the legends across the country i believe that decorating is really the ultimate of anything to 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 sell you know i mean there is really no other way to put this but if we can just focus on making a place look nice, if we can focus on making our rural areas look organized, uh, on cleaning our cities, on planting flowers in our balconies, on putting a few wall hangings on our walls, and um, just spending more on type of lighting that we use and things like that, Spending more on beauty, spending more on aesthetics, I think we can really go a long way. So, um, for, for those who are interested in this project to support or just to 
know uh, the progress of this project, you can check out my LinkedIn for um, you can you can check out my LinkedIn or reach out to me via my email address which is on on my about page and we can collaborate together on, on the same well um, that was today's topic thank you so much for tuning into the African feminist I hope I can see you on the next topic bye